In this video I'm going to look at a couple of awkward polymerization questions. So the first one's about lactic acid. So we're told lactic acid is the monomer for the condensation polymer polylactic acid PLA. And I've got condensation in red because that's at the absolute heart of this question. When it's heated strongly, lactic acid forms a cyclic diester. So that's just a ring structure with two ester groups in it. We've got to suggest the structure of the cyclic diester. So if you remember, condensation, polymerization, or condensation reactions even, is the um, loss of water. So the joining together of molecules where there's a loss of water. So what I'm doing is I'm going to draw two lactic acid molecules, but I'm positioning them so I can take the water out nice and easily. So drawn like that, you can see the H and the OH on that side is going to come out, and likewise on the right-hand side as well. And then all we're going to do is just join that together into a ring. And we get that. So the next question is about glutamic acid, and it's a bit trickier, but at the heart of it is the same condensation process. So glutamic acid is the monomer for the condensation polymer polyglutamic acid. Student tries to prepare the polymer from glutamic acid, but doesn't get any polymer in their product mixture. Student isolates two major compounds in the mixture and we've got mass spectra information for the two compounds showing molecular ion peaks at M over Z129 and 258. So those masses are obviously very, very important bits of information. So the first thing we're going to do is work out the MR of glutamic acid. It's 147. Remember, condensation, condensation. It's all about loss of water. So if we, what's the link between the 147 and the 129? A difference of 18. So we've lost a water molecule. So if we draw up the glutamic acid, take the H and the OH out, and they're obviously going to coil up into a ring, and we get that. So that would be classed as a cyclic amide. Now you can see I've taken the OH group from the far right hand side on the molecule. There's nothing to stop us taking the other OH group from the other carboxylic acid group and making a smaller cyclic part with a, would have a CH2, CH2, COH side group. So the second one at 258, again we're playing around with the numbers. What's the link between the MR147 and 258? It's two 147s minus 2 times 18. Condensation, that's what it's all about. So we've obviously got two glutamic acid molecules. And notice how I'm drawing them. Drawing them so that I can take the water out. And we're going to take water out for two times now. And again, we're just going to form a cyclic. This would be a cyclic diamide now. And just as before, we don't have to take this OH group. We could go for that one there and draw a much smaller cyclic part, and it would have the CH2, CH2, COH as a side chain. 